the Perlistons are great speakers. There's, yeah. there's no, there's no if ands or buts about it, right? The engineering is sound. The experience is fantastic. Yeah. Well, here yeah. here's a perfect example in my my garage theater. I have the uh, Arendelle seventeen twenty three towers, right? I yeah. if I wanted to use the seventeen twenty three center, I would have had to move my screen forward. I remember that thing is gigantic, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh man, I I was using the Encore C six center before that one, and it fits without having to move it. So I'm like, if I calibrate this and I just keep the C six and the Arendelles. Like, of course, I'd rather have the Arendelle just for the thought of it, right? But it wouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, after calibrating it, do you think that I notice when something pans from left to right, or does it sound seamless? I'm it sounds, you it sounds seamless. It sounds seamless. Like, I can't tell that there's a difference when it goes from left to right. So that's going from, you know, Encore B6, C6 Center to Arendelle 1723. So... I think with EQ, stuff begins to even out a lot, you know, a lot. Anyway. And that's that's kind of like the thing. If the speaker has, uh, you know, can handle like some good, you know, if it measures well and if it has good directivity, then it'll take to EQ well. And if you're running something like Dirac and using Magic Beans and Spatial Audio yeah. Calibration Toolkit. Yeah. You will probably be having a great experience, no matter what price point you're at with your speaker.